I'm gonna go on a run and I've decided I've decided to take my big camera with me. I'm gonna own that house sometime. It's freezing out. Time to go running. <coughs> it's very cold. This is my usual spot for running. I brought the camera with me for a few reasons. One, it's golden hour. Two, I always want to bring my camera down here. But I don't want to walk because I actually get to see more when I'm running, so I'll just run with the actual camera. But look, this is why I want to show you. This is amazing down here. I love coming out at this hour because there's nothing around. I was just taking a photo there and a robin just came up beside me, like a big fat robin. I brought my big camera with me because I wanted to take some photos along the way. Sometimes you have a purpose to go out and run, and run a certain distance and run at a certain pace. And then other times you're just going out, whether it's to clear your head or uh, as a recovery run. So today's purpose, was to come and take some photos rather than get fit or uh, a recovery run. Oh god. I'm gonna finish off my run. It's my sister's uh, birthday today, so happy birthday, Kifa. She's look at that sunset there. Oh, um, <clears throat> Yaz is still sick. Oh, <laughs> Microbiotics. Yeah. It's lovely. <laughs> I'm taking some of it. <laughs> this is actually so. Usually for New Year's, we don't really go out. We don't. We don't do anything. We just kind of stay in and eat and watch a film or watch Netflix or something like that. We also do this thing. It's a vision board. Post things that we want to happen over the next year or over the next uh, few years, and we. Whatever our visions are, we post up. A vision without a plan is just a dream. You need to be able to visualize what's in your head. Because every other thoughts can just go out of your head. But when you see it right in front of you, it gives you that extra bit of focus that when you wake up in the morning and you see, I don't know, let's say you want a boat or something like that, and you, you post a picture of the boat you want, and you post, a, you post the steps on how you need to get to that boat so for for us it was a house so you need savings for a house so we posted every month how much savings we need we posted a picture of a house and I think when you post something it puts it out into the universe this sounds really hippie but it po it goes to the universe and I think whatever you put out into the universe you get back it helps us keep motivated to for our goals and our visions of what we want I'm gonna talk about uh, the runners that I've used in 2017. I'll start with my oldest pair, which are these, the Gemini. These are Gemini 2s. What I like about them is that they don't actually have a, an insole. It's basically just one. It, they're made in a bra factory, basically. I won't go into it. Basically, these are the first pair that I started with. And then I moved into these. These are the Bandit 2s. These are probably my favorite. They made me feel like I was up on my toes. Um, probably because of the way they look and uh, in the light at night time these shine up um, so yeah I actually really like these ones the next pair down were these bandits they're basically the same as the other pair but different colour the racers that I've been using and what I was going to run the marathon in until my Achilles went uh, so these these are called the slingshots so these are like the 5k maybe 10k range and um, they're very aggressive they're very light so as you can see they're kind of like mold they're all knitted into one thing these are really good these are what i ran all the speed sessions like real speed sessions in now the other two these are the same shoes but one one is a record one and the other one isn't as in rec it's called a record uh, this one has a bluetooth sensor in it so these are called the velocities i'm not sure if you can see the color on there these are I actually, these ones, I ran 22, 22 minutes for 4 mile in them. I'd prefer these for the marathon, 
uh, half marathon because they have enough cushion in them and they're not as aggressive so you're not open your toes as much as you would be with these ones why i couldn't do the marathon in them is because i felt really nervous uh about running with my achilles because it was like should i be able to do the marathon or not i, wa I still wasn't sure if i could do the marathon even in october i was going to run I have a white pair but Yaz has them at the moment so I have a white pair of these all white something similar to these these ones here are the Gemini 2's um, these are the ones I actually broke the uh, European record in the marathon for uh, they make you feel like you want to go forward um, I like the cushioning system here and this is the part that I liked that, with my Achilles this part here they, they hugged my Achilles rather than pressed in on my Achilles um, because where my Achilles actually tore was where you, other runners would dig into it. I didn't really want to wear them afterwards or get them dirty, but I liked them that much that I actually just ran in them afterwards and just completely got them filthy. Well, what, what was I supposed to do with them afterwards? Like, cut them up and put them in the frame? Runners are to be running, not to be put up in a shelf. If I didn't have the Achilles problem, then I would have went with these. But when I went to Morocco, uh, I went to Morocco for a holiday but also to train and uh, I was going to run everything in these these are uh, Gemini, these are Gemini trees again um, and they're a record version so they, they have a Bluetooth sensor in them this one here so basically you connect your Bluetooth sensor in these to your phone and then you do a jump test so you jump to see how how reactive your actual muscles are off the ground from yesterday's training session i really like the colorway in these i actually my heart broke i brought them to morocco and if you ever go to africa you'll know what i'm talking about it's the yellow the yellow dust that's everywhere wrecks your shoes i brought them home brought them to a car wash and then just sprayed the hell out of them to get them white again but you can still see the kind of yellow coloring on them when i finished the marathon I started with these, and these again. These are the banded trees. Uh, geez, they're filthy. I've only I've only ran the last month in these, but see the way the heel is really soft on it, and you can see here, along there, that it actually g allows this to go down when you're running. It's not like bed into your Achilles or your heel. These are a newer version of them. Uh, I ran my first run in them today. Uh, I did an eight mile in them today. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven pairs of shoes that I've went through this this year. That's all the runners that I've worn in 2017. And I'd like to say a big thanks to Under Armour for their, their continuous support. As you can see, Under Armour helped me out a lot. My runners are like my tablets. So I see, I see. Here's my inhaler. You see these as important as taking this. My runners are my medication. Strap these on and go running. Movement is medication. I take these, I take these. I'm not going to say the bottom of my heart. Well, I've already said it. Thank you so much. Uh, also, have a great night tonight. And what I said as well, vision board. Actually, vision board. This is my vision board. Boom. And it always, it was here all the time so every time i woke up you're on my bed right now every time i woke up i i looked at that this time last year i posted this on it run a marathon and then i said sub three i shouldn't have done this though because i didn't actually i didn't put up on my vision board that i'm gonna break the record here's another one that i have that i posted be out of my comfort zone more if you're staying in your comfort zone, you're not expanding. So, for 2018, more and better. That's it. I'll post the link below on my vision board. And thank you again for watching. I want to grow this channel to be massive. And you are helping me do that. So, click the little thumbs up. Bing! Click the subscribe button. And, Happy New Year. <music>